Welcome back, foul mouth fishing fam. So finally, today, on the doorstep, my long and anxiously awaited angler's haul for this Halloween season, for this uh, October uh, 2019. So, this came in the, uh, in the mail this afternoon. Unfortunately, I had a lot to do, so uh, I let my little fearless spider here and my little pumpkin head keep tabs on it and protect it until I could get home after work and uh, and share my anglers hall subscription with you today so it's been in, in help <laughs> hands and the safe keeping it's not even not even opened yet so <clears throat> if you don't know anglers hall is a uh, is an offshoot from hunters hall hunters hall and anglers hall are basically box subscriptions just like your mystery tackle box uh, your monster bass etc um, what they do is they subscribe in Angler's Hall, specifically, because that's what I get. Uh, two tiers, a pro tier and the advanced tier. This is the advanced box, which is their top mount, or top of the line. And they supply anglers with gear. So it's not a tune like Mystery Tackle Box or uh, Monster Bass that give you baits. Uh, they push more your, your gear, your fishing rods and fishing reels, which I've gotten in the past, uh, if you've seen the past videos that I've launched. Um, they have shirts, hats, gloves, knives, um, tools, and, 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 and objects to help anglers uh, better, you know, better fish. So it's not just the baits, um, it's actually the, the, the items, all right? So we'll uh, get out Granddad's trusty knife and cut in. Holy crap, this is a long piece of tape. All the way across that up before I stab myself. So, this is the advanced tier. It's $109. They have the two tiers. Your pro tier runs, I believe, around uh, $70 or so. And, or no, excuse me, it's like, I'll leave the, I'll leave the information in the, in the bottom below. Because I don't go for the, for the low raids or the, or the mid range. I go for the top of the line always. But it's $109.99 um, and ish. $109 for this subscription each month. You get the basic uh, pro level and the advanced adds more pack, more items to your box and you get a total of $170 roughly of, of value in each box. Ta-da! So it's another pack full of stuff and this month, this month actually looks bait heavy as opposed to most. Uh, here is your what's in your box card. And as you can see, the way they break it down, here's your pro level, first level, first tier items list. And then because I, I get the advanced package, I'll get the advanced box, and I get extra add-ons to make this a, a slightly more uh, you know, valuable box. So, we'll start off. First item is a, is, ooh, Yozuri 20-pound Super Braid. So our first thing in this month's box, Micro Pitch Braid by Yozuri, made in Japan, Super Braid fishing uh, line. So you got a JDM dark green. I use a lot of Hunter dark green uh, braid. Um, so that, that doesn't bother me. Some people don't like the green. They rather have black. Uh, they'll take a Sharpie and blacken it out. And you can always run a leader. Yeah, I can run a, a fluorocarbon, 100% fluorocarbon leader. Um, off of this if I want if I'm afraid that the fish are going to see this in you know in clear crystal clear water in dark murky water uh, in muddy water after rainstorms etc it doesn't matter yeah they're not going to see this anyway um, but yeah that's that's cool I've never had a Yozuri brand uh, braid so or fishing line for that matter so that's that's awesome all right so the Yozuri 20 pound braid this is a $13.99 uh, value next on the list Cool baits down under, underspin. Cool bait lure company, the down under underspin. So you got a little jig head, little underspin jig head here. Not bad. I do always lose these. This is a three eighths ounce. Uh, Coolbaits.com. If you're looking for it, um, it's a nice little silver down under underspin. Easy peasy. They they market this one at six dollars and ninety nine cents. Next, Missile Baits, name brand. Missile Baits, 
bomb shots. So you got uh, green pumpkin, 15 quantity of a little finesse. This is similar to what I got in my mystery tackle box with that little leech. So uh, this is very similar pattern, style, kind of that flat, this is a much larger profile uh, beaver tail style finesse. You can run this drop shot if you wanted to. Um, I like to run these like I do my leeches when they get this small, and that's on a little scrounger head. Uh, especially the one I got in Mystery Tackle Box because it had a little bubble in the bulbous tail that would help lift that and elevate it. This is a little bit more finessey. I'd probably run this one on a drop shot or even, uh, you know, as a trailer on a, on a little uh, football head jig or something like that and just bounce it around. I'm sure that, that puts off a heck of a lot of action. <coughs> so there's that. Again, this is a 16-pack. It's not a small little sample pack. It's the full deal. $3.99 accurate pricing. Uh, next, War Eagle. War Eagle brand. This is the Buzz Toad. So basically it's a War Eagle buzz bait. This is a half ounce and they have one of their Toad soft plastics already pre-rigged on it. War Eagle Buzz Toad pre-rigged with a Yum Buzz buzz End Toad. Patent pending bait. <laughs> Patent pending bait gripper, they say. All right. This is actually one of my favorite toads, uh, which is the Yums, the Yums Buzzin' Toad. Um, I do, I always like this, the way that they, they make this little cupped paddle foot, and it's got the little cutouts, the little cove, and uh, it does do a lot of kick. If you've seen my, um, if you saw my video, I'll leave a link at the end of this to my video uh, on how to make the Foul Mouth Fishing's Chatter Toad. Um, and that's actually the toad that I prefer to use with that specific design, um, that little, uh, you know, bait hack. So I'll leave that. This is a, this is a nice little half ounce. Half ounce, right? Yep, half ounce. Um, a little bait. I mean, it's got some heft to it. They've got that anodized, that darkened black uh, buzz bait blade. I like that rather than the flashy silver or, or even the gold copper color. Um, this is definitely a, a good one for, for the murky water in that profile. And again, unfortunately, like with uh, a lot of the baits, this is a single wire bend construction. Uh, again, I'll leave the other video I'll leave on the, on the tail end cards is going to be how to put heat shrink over these um, so that it makes it easier to use a snap rather than tie directly on. And uh, it makes changing these out, you know, changing bait to bait a lot faster and easier and you don't have to worry about your line getting loose and running down the shaft and then you know ending up down here on a cast and, and causing problems where it gets hooked up bound up it'll hold that line tie in the correct in the correct area of the of the bait so you have more uh, uh, more accuracy less less binding less issues and uh, less and it prevents chafing that can also cause your your line to snap off and you lose your bait so it's just a simple technique that I that I threw a little video up and I'll leave that link too. So I'll leave the link to the, the Chatter Toad and I'll leave a link to how to fix the issues of line knots coming a little loose and sliding up and down um, the shaft of your of your buzz baits and chatter baits and, and all that kind of stuff. That War Eagle Buzzing Toad is $7.99. Next up, uh, still in the Pro, uh, pro Box tier, Hedden's Bone Shad. Hedden, Hedden. That's not Hedden. Hedden, okay. Okay, so we got a popper. Chug and Spook. So we got the Hedden's Chug and Spook. I love this top water bait. I love Hedden brand. Um, I've never had problems with Hedden's. I've always found them to be, you know, a good old-fashioned tried and true. So this is the Bone Shad. This is their Popping Spook. They call it the Chug and Spook. So it's a little top water, and it's good. They, they do come with saltwater hooks on these. Uh, this is four and seven eighths inches, and it's a one ounce bait. So it's a pretty heavy bait, but it's got that that knock to it. Let's fold up the. And it's got the saltwater hooks on it, so you can throw this freshwater saltwater. You can catch pike on this. You can catch bass on this. It's a big bait at at one and a quarter inches or so. So, uh, you know, 
It's for the bigger, bigger fish. Oh, excuse me. Four and seven eighths inches. What am I doing? One and a quarter. Um, but, uh, but yeah, chug and spook. So this, I mean, again, this box, that allots you if you're a saltwater angler, you can run these. If you're a freshwater angler, there's plenty of freshwater bass baits in here. Um, and, and you can cross over. That one, uh, $7.99. Next, for $12.99, a Tackle HD's High Def Craw. This was the first one I saw when I opened the box. So this is a 3-inch craw, and they call this the uh, HD Magic Color. So it's basically a green pumpkin candy, or green pumpkin with the multiple flake colors, your green, your uh, purple, um, etc. Take one of these out here. And they are really, really good analog design for a crawfish. So you've got a very realistic split V tail with the fluting on the back end that helps catch some water. You have the the appendages here. You've got air filled, uh, or I should say bulbous little filled claws. So those should perk right back up and float in the water a little bit. And it is a very accurate analog to what a crayfish would look like. And you can see the amount of sparkle in there. There's a ton, a ton of green, purple, and you know, reddish um, little uh, little flake in there uh, or glitter with the uh, with the green pumpkin body. These work really well. You can actually throw these on a Ned rig also. Uh, just cut off those little little floppy tails, and you get a very good mounting position for a little Ned rig. And you could drop this Ned style. Uh, again, that's twelve dollars ninety nine, and that is a pack of two, four, six, eight. So you get an eight count, which is good. Because I know the bass are definitely going to tear these up. Next up, from Groove. So la uh, a couple boxes ago, we got a Groove um, uh, bait box. This is the Groove Hard Bait Launch Pad. Uh, ooh, that is not it. Although that is also, I got two things in here from Groove. All right. What's this? Hard bait launch pad. Alrighty, so this is interesting. Groove has a really awesome um, system. They use these these proprietary little uh, like um, yeah, my brain's fading. I'm getting old, people. <laughs> First thing to go is your brain, right? Uh, it's uh, the, 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 the silicone style. Yeah, like a like a silicone, um, but. Uh, these innovative little silicone pads and setups and designs that they have for holding baits in, in specific positions. So it's modular, tackle storage, uh, store organized and protect. It's a four and a half by two and a quarter by two inch uh, little hard bait support briquette. So we'll take this out of here so you can get a better, better view because packaging really don't matter. So the way this works I'll try it with the head, but I think the head is not going to function the way I want it to. But you have this little block, and it's a modular block. It's got 3M stick on the back. You can stick this to uh, the bottom of your bait, uh, you know, your bait box or whatever, and you basically can position your bot, your baits inside. And I'm going to get one second. Let me get a bait that's actually more apropos for for demonstrating this. Here, I'm sure I got a here's a lipless crank or something in this. Here we go. Use this old knocker. So you basically take your bait and you just slide it in between the X's. And it holds on and grips it and stores stores it so it doesn't go anywhere while you're... helps if you put the hooks inside and don't snag your finger. But yeah, it holds on to it really tight and uh, Hold your baits in position, and you can you have enough space in here for something like these lipless cranks. Uh, you got one, two, three, four, five positions for five little baits. The hooks sit down here in these grooves, and that also allows air to flow through to dry off your hooks, keeping your bait itself protected up in these soft cups and uh, keeps them from getting scratched up. Again, the, the baits down here, the, the hooks can dry out because it has the air ventilation, so that's really cool. They want $9.99 for this. 
It's a modular thing. They have a bunch of these little tiny briquettes and blocks, and you can stick them together and, and basically build and create your own basic um, bait storage system by just adding and subtracting these little modular packaging. So that's a really cool thing from Groove. Uh, $9.99 for that. That is the Pro Box, and the Pro Box value of those items all told is $63.93. So a little bit shy of their $70 rough estimate, plus or minus, uh, but they try to get you around that $70 price range for your Pro Box, and then they guarantee at least $100 additional value when you go for the, for the advanced. So they added to this box to make the advanced. I will start with Groove again. For $29.99, the Groove's Hard Bait Tackle Box. So prior to that, I got a Groove Tackle Box for, uh, which is over here, which was their Jig Box. So in a previous um, Angler's Hall, I got this Groove's uh, this Groove brand Jig Head Box. And you can see I've been putting it to quite quite good use with all my little jigs in here um, and uh, now adding to my groove tackle collection they've got basically it's exactly what this little briquette is but it is the full the full tackle box so I've got the tackle box and the launch pad so I can store my hard baits in here and then the ones that I'm throwing or swapping out on the go uh, especially in tournament when you want to you know pop off of one bait and throw on another you want to just have a different variety of colors compared to the one you've got tied on at the moment uh, I've got this little portable launch pad so that's pretty cool and uh, and another groove decal to go with the other awesome groove decal that I have I have just the, the groove G that came with the other one so that's cool uh, they want $29.99 for this groove tackle box this is for their hard baits and then finally, in the bottom of all this paper, is the main item, the biggest ticket item in the box today, $69.99. Uh, they're calling this the Icon X Cold Weather Hoodie. And this is a Huck, uh, Huck item. Um, well, you know, there's some things here I could say, but I'm not going to. They list the price at 16, well, I'm going to say it, because I'm honest, and I, I, keep, I keep things real. They list it on the card, the Icon X Huck hoodie for $69.99 to raise the price of this value to an advanced box total of $163.91. However, on the very package... You can read there, men's size medium, MSRP, $65 even. So is it a $65 or a $70 item? I think you marked the price up just a little bit, and that is not exactly respectable, Angler's Hall. I would have said that a hoodie, even a cold weather one, weather one even by a name brand like Huck, um, I would say this is probably more in tune at your local store around the $49.99 to $54.99 price range. I don't, I don't see it being a $70 um, hoodie. I think they could have added another item in this box along with this and, and marked this as a, as a more logical price um, in that $50, $40, $50 range and then made it add another $10 or $15 item uh, to balance this out. Nevertheless, it is fall. It is windy. It has been chilly off and on, especially getting up early in the morning before the sun's come up uh, to get out on the water. So I never look a good gift horse in the mouth. And this is a nice cold weather hoodie. It's got the uh, that nice soft material breathable hoodie you can see through it's nice uh, nice breathable mesh style but it'll keep the wind off you and it is the thicker material up on your, around your chest and your core to keep you warm um, and you throw your little windbreaker your rain jacket over top of this and it'll keep you uh, keep you nice and toasty on those cool you know fall morning fishing runs 
So uh, I appreciate that. I don't appreciate the little bit of price differencing between what they have in Huck's own packaging compared to what uh, they're listing as their price, their retail price here on the on the bait card. All that being said, the advanced box here is coming up with $163.91. Okay, so the Yozuri, the, the Super Braid line, $13.99. Cool baits down under underspin, $6.99. Uh, Missile baits, bomb shots, full pack awesome, $3.99. The War Eagle Buzz Toad, $7.99. The Head and Spook, $7.99. The Tackle HD Craws, $12.99. And the Groove Bait Launch Pad for $9.99. Now with the advanced tier, you're adding this hoodie, a little overpriced in my opinion, at $69.99, and the full box of Groove um, Hard Bait Tackle Storage for $29.99. So all total, again, $163.91. It is, in my opinion, aside from a little bit of being miffed, it's still actually very good value and uh, and I gotta say, I, I do think it's worthwhile. I, I'm loving the Head and Spook. I love dropping spooks for top water. Um, I can use that all year round. I like the uh, the storage. It's kind of odd that they give you the little launch pad, the, the, the sidebar thing, and then they give you the exact same system setup as the main box. It would have been more interesting if they had given the launch pad and a different uh, groove full tackle box, like... Uh, something more for your um you know you got the one for the for the uh that that groove puts out for their jig heads maybe have put something out for uh buzz baits something designed specifically that they use for storing buzz baits or chatter baits or uh or spinner baits like a spinner bait box would have been nice and then maybe later down the line two or three boxes from this then drop the uh the groove hard bait tackle box into it for you nevertheless I appreciate it. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this little quick unboxing. I hope all of you have a help, ha healthy, happy, and safe Halloween uh, this year. And uh, as always, I appreciate you joining me on these little unboxings and joining me when I start putting out some of the fishing videos that I've made, uh, the on-the-water videos. Uh, I love to share whatever tricks, tips, techniques, and, uh, and hacks that I can. And I love taking in more information. If you have a question about something in this box on the last video, uh, a gentleman left a message in the in the comments on the uh, the little uh, the tiny little bomb drops baits that I that I got, and he's like, "How do I fish them?" I, you know, and I gave him. There's a series of a multitude of ways to fish them, and I tried to give him as many ideas that I know from experience um, would work for baits that tiny and that that profile. Uh, if I can help you out, if you have a question on something like how would I fish uh, the, those craws, leave a comment in the bottom and I'll try to give you the best answer I can come up with to help you have a good day out fishing. As always, this is Foul Mouth Fishing. Have a happy Halloween. Uh, God bless, and uh, I'll catch you on the next cast.